I got another TV to install. This is a big one. And uh, here's the full motion TV wall mount. Make sure you get the associated one for something as large as this. Now to only figure out where exactly we're going to put this. We're going to put it up right here. Hi Cindy. Hi Jim. I need you to help me locate where this TV is okay. going to go. Now is this counter or is this little cabinet here going to stay? For the time being it is. Eventually we'll put something else there but it'll still be about that height I would imagine. Okay. Because I think, weren't you planning on trying to put that behind this couch? Yes. That's going to look kind of nice there, huh? Yeah, then you can the nice put greenery a lamp there. there and like that. Maybe turn around and set your drink there or whatnot. Uh-huh. So it looks like she's going to have quite a few components here too. Yes. And once I install that up on the wall, I'm going to have you help me figure out exactly where you want it. But I want to get all these cables down on the inside of the wall. Okay. So uh, That'll look nice. Um, what I'm looking here is this is an HDMI TV, which means it's going to have Blu-ray capability for a really sharp picture. So I'm going to have to look at the cores and I may have to do something slightly different because it looks like you've got a, uh, a Blu-ray, what is this? A DVD home entertainment system and it's Blu-ray, which tells me a couple different things. You're going to need an HDMI cable and look at that, it even says it comes with a free HDMI cable in there. The only problem is, here's the HDMI cable. It's only six feet long, and I don't think that's going to be long enough for, for us to get it down the wall and then back up on a, uh, on a TV counter, so to speak. This was the other one I put on upstairs, because you were saying uh, you didn't really care about the Blu-ray technology up there. It's just going to be a standard DVD tape player, right? Right. Okay, so that one is a 12-footer. So I was first thinking about putting that. And the funny thing, too, is it came with this cord here. I'm not quite sure what that's for yet, but we're going to need to, to uh, check that out fully because, you know, I may have to get another cord just like this one here uh, 15 feet long or 20 feet long, whatever they got at the store. And I'm thinking maybe we might want to put that in there too, just for capabilities of whatever comes up. Because I already have the yellow cable. And this one here comes with yellow, white, and red. And the other thing I noticed on this TV, it came with some little, some little adapters. And I'm not quite sure what those are for other than they probably poke into the back side of the TV and then they have the capabilities of running the, the wires that I was having upstairs that I put in. So I think I'm going to have to do that too because the last thing we want is when we put this up here and I fish all the wires down the wall, I don't want you to find out later on there's one wire you wish I would have put in. Because we're going to have to do some work down there where those plugs are. That plug's going to have to come out. I'm going to have to fish more power down to there, as well as that cable for the TV right there. We're going to have quite a few wires coming out of there, or I may have to put a separate box. I might just end up putting a separate cut-in box there where I can have all the cables come down, and then one will be hooked up to the cable TV, and everything else will be dangling there. Then they can come up on top of whatever sort of uh, TV uh, um, cabinet unit you're going to have here. How's that sound? Sounds great. So um, I think we got a plan here. That's going to look nice up there. We're looking forward to it. The problem with that is going to be once I put that up on the wall, I'm going to want one of those too. <laughs> you dirty rat. We'll see what we can do, Jeff. <laughs> All right, I'm going to set this camera down so I can get my tape measure out and see what we can come up with. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Jeff.